Welcome to Modern Lifekeeping. I am your host, Lori Christine. We are living in a society where people can be defensive because of an expression on your face, or offended for my tone in your voice. As ridiculous as it sounds, few can deny this. Why are so many people feeling so defensive and offended? Can others make us defensive or offended? Are we using our power wisely, or are we giving it away to others as we walk around feeling defensive and offended? 21st century living is filled with people who are defensive and offended, but what does this mean? To me, it means that people are giving their power away to being defended and offended. It means that people are not managing their emotions in a way that serves them. It means that many have something within themselves that they have not identified and healed. It means that people are blaming and projecting their issues onto others instead of taking responsibility for themselves. Do you think you are living your best life when you are defensive and or offensive? Or when you are projecting your wounded feelings onto others? Is becoming defensive or feeling offended your best choice? I wonder, is your highest self offended? Or is it perhaps your ego? This is a discernment you don't want to miss. And what does it mean for us when we blame others for making us feel defensive? Do others have the power to make us feel a specific way? Think about that. We are responsible for attaching meaning to our experiences. We choose to get defensive or be offended. It's that simple. What is not as simple is catching ourselves in the moment and attaching meaning that serves instead of sabotages us. However difficult, it is a key to managing our emotions and using our power wisely. Our emotions are the result of our thoughts. Our thoughts are based on our beliefs, and our beliefs are part of our core. When our emotions are triggered in a way that makes us feel uncomfortable, we are being invited to explore why. What is within us that needs to be healed so that we don't feel defensive or offended? I have learned that being defensive and offended says much more about me than anyone else. I will no longer use the excuses of feeling defensiveness or being offended to project my insecurities onto others, at least not consciously. Regardless of what triggers defensiveness or feeling offended, the root of it is always within us. Blaming and projecting onto others delays our healing. Feeling defensive or offended is an invitation for us to look within ourselves at what belief we have that is triggering these particular feelings. When we allow others to become the puppet masters of our emotions, we are entering a black hole that keeps us limited and stuck. The other day I was told I caused someone to become defensive while simultaneously offending them. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Um, This left me speechless. I was unaware that I was important enough to have this much power over this individual, whom I had only met 20 minutes prior to this startling accusation. Where was grace in this situation? Benefit of the doubt made no appearance. Perspective and respecting individuality were not reciprocated. The situation involved someone asking for feedback and a program they had created and were getting ready to deliver. I spent the last eight years of my career being paid to analyze content. To analyze is to break a complex idea into smaller parts. Someone else's problem is a complex idea to me, and I had some questions so I could understand the parts. My questions apparently offended the recipient and made them feel they had to defend themselves. Several things went awry here. If you are going to ask strangers for their feedback, you may want to consider their background, their perspective, and or style, as well as their personality. I am far from the target group for this individual's program, so why would my feedback even matter? Bad intent was not inferred. Why would you automatically assume bad intent instead of a misunderstanding? Why are people so easily triggered, and why is it the recipient's issue? I'm not sure this individual actually wanted feedback. It seems like they wanted attention and or validation. I reflected on how I could have handled things differently. I ignored a clear message from my intuition, and I take responsibility for that. Other than that, I asked permission before offering feedback, and I gave feedback with the intention of improving the content. I don't feel I did anything wrong. I even apologized because it is expected in our society, and it wasn't accepted. I didn't respond during the interaction because I think the person defensive and offended speaks for themselves. I didn't feel defensive or offended. It felt like their problem and not mine. I refused to allow it into my energy field by not thinking more about it than I needed to. I refused to become defensive or offended back, even though I could have made winning arguments for all of her points. I believe no one has the power to make someone feel defensive or offended. Until we begin to own our own feelings, we are going to keep spinning our wheels. This individual revealed to me that they were not confident in their own foundations, the very thing they wrote the program about. If your foundations are strong, you won't feel triggered to defend your personal beliefs. Do you allow others to take away your power by becoming defensive or offended? Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Modern Life Keeping with Lori Christine, brought to you by Kira Kisses. 
When we feel defensive, we feel like we need to justify our own beliefs. We don't have to. That's just something that we think we need to do. You choose to be defensive or not. Feeling offensive just means that someone else has beliefs that don't align with our beliefs. That too is okay. We're not all supposed to have the same beliefs. That would be a strange place to live in if we all believe the same things, wouldn't it? The next time you feel defensive or offended, stop and think. Reach for better feeling thoughts and know that it's okay for us to have different beliefs than each other. For more information on my individual and parenting support groups, retreats, and services, visit Kira, K-E-A-R-A, kisses.com. Thank you for listening. Until we meet again, keep wondering.